Hey everybody, it's Mary at Yard Art R Us. It is Saturday night and I hope you guys are doing well. I'm coming on because I am going to be painting a baseball. I had some, we sold them, I've got to do some more. And so I thought, well, I'll get on. I did a lot of painting today. I even posted it, I think, in the painter group, in the painters club. It was raining, I couldn't do anything else. So I did, sometimes if the weather's good, we're outside working, but not today. It was not good. Miss Debbie! Debbie, can you do me a favor? Superstar Debbie, can you uh, go ahead and post the link for the paint party for the baseball softball? I think we only have one paint party right now. And the Hi, Kim. Kim Simon is here. Kim, how was your, um, what do you call Hi, it? She went on a uh, cruise. cruise. Yes. I know she got kind of started feeling kind of sick towards the end. Uh, but I'm thinking the rest of the, most of the time she was pretty good. I always wondered if I'd be seasick if I went on a cruise. Well, hers, I don't think was seasick. She just got, oh. you know, like, uh, congestion, mm. uh, uh, sinus, all that, you know, right. all that mess. Ain't nobody want that. I got seasick when me, Kelly, and Steve went on the mountains in, uh, call, was it Colorado or Utah? Uh, oh, yeah. gosh, I was sick. Hey, Sylvia. You did get sick, honey? I did. They had to put me in the front seat. I don't know if that was... Good, worse or better, but yeah, yeah, I didn't physically get sick, but my stomach was like rolling uh, because they don't have barriers, and so when yeah. you look over, it goes straight down, and there's mm -hmm. no barriers to catch you if you fall. Yeah, well, you ain't supposed to be falling, right? Right. So uh, today, this is a very interesting conversation. Can and, anybody hear us? Kim said that there's no okay, sound. Turn it up. Oh, you know what? I'm I, might, with it. I might have had it. Oh, Debbie has sound, so we don't okay. worry about it. We just turned it up to y'all. Um, so today, we were at the business doing, I was painting, Bruce was doing what we call rat killing. And what <laughs> Hi, that, Jerry. What that means is, if you're from Texas and you know what rat killing is, all that means is, is he was going around doing little piddly things that he piddling. thought needed, piddling. He, he thought needed to be done, which they probably did. I'm, I'm not going to argue about that. And I was in there painting. In the rain? And he was piddling? Well, he's in the barn. Mm -hmm. And so... Anyway, uh, we go to lunch and we come back and I said, uh, hey, uh, you think we could talk about this thing I want to build? And he's like, not really. Not really. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. So I told him, I not said, today. not today. <laughs> I told him, I, I showed him this, uh, what what's called a, uh, I love that red. Hi, April. I know. Isn't this a, a really I good love red? love that bright red. And the thing about that's so easy about this y'all is that it, all the shapes are cut for you so you don't really have to paint per Hi, se um, so Cindy. anyway I said to Bruce can can you make this for me and it's a real tall six foot tall um, rack that's on a furniture dolly so it's got wheels and you and it's got lots and lots of rows for ribbons Oh, that would be so cool. So um, hi Maria. I just kind of showed him all the stuff and He's like, well, I don't know. You need that. I was like, I do need that. My ribbon's everywhere. Miss Debbie sprinkled the love. Hey, you guys, it would be such a great, great favor to us if you could sprinkle the love for us. That would be great. That would be wonderful. Just that button alone makes a huge difference for us. It doesn't cost you anything. Just a second or two. Right. So I'm making a softball um, door hanger. And we actually have a paint party for this next Saturday. Softball. Hi, Tamara. Uh, I'm sorry. This one I'm making is a baseball. Softball is yellow. I'm right. getting, I'm getting all my baseballs and everything confused over here. Hey, Miss Ava. Ava, I saw what Ava was doing. She's been painting a porch sign. Oh, how cool! It looks good too. So, how was it going, Miss Ava? Yay! Jerry sprinkled the love with some hearts too. Thank you. Yay, that yay. means so 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 much Thank to you. us. It really means so so much to us. Uh, and we're all we're not really good at asking for it, and that's our bad. Hey, I'm going to remember from now on. Debbie's good. And Connie, you got to get with it. Y'all know how I am. I've been studying for my test all day, so I'm so ready to get in here and look at some painting. Hi, Debbie Snyder. Yeah, you're ready to do something other than sit uh, in front of the, right. the pa pen and paper all day. Yeah. So I just used a, a uh, roller that you can get Home Depot, and I roll that red on, and I'm going to roll some black on. And we're going to, right here very quickly, have two... Softball. I love Baseball how bright that is. So, so pretty. Right. So, anyway. And so easy. And look at the sides, y'all. I love that the sides are black. Yeah, that's If you buy this as a blank, black. that's how your sides are going to be. They'll hey, be black. Karen. And the trick is, is to stay the paint on the top. That's the trick. In other words. Don't let it drip. Don't let it drip. That's the trick. 
And it's pretty easy if you just roll her and glide that roller over, or you could always use a sponge. Sponges are very easy too. Whatever's gonna be easiest for you. Right? I have not been painting since before Christmas, trying to get my office turned into a paint room. I know, it's a that's work right. In progress. Mm -hmm. That's what Kim uh, Hurtis said. Simon, okay. sorry. I tell you, Kimberly. trying to uh, do any kind of remodeling or reconfiguring or resetting up or whatever you want to call it is not the easiest thing to do. We did that at the store this year. I'm glad we did, but Lord be, I do not want to do it again. If you have our red paint, it's number 20. Yeah, number 20 red. I have to start pushing my Easter orders. How many orders do you have so far, Kimberly? She may not have any. I don't know. We'll, it's a we'll little early. Yeah, I'm, doing you. I'm trying to get, you know, uh, you know how the new year is always like a new thing or whatever mm -hmm. and then we did a lot of remodeling at the store so you know when you remodel that means you pick up everything you own and you move, move it. it so and that means how much you own and that means that some of the things that you have just not thrown in the trash get tossed in the trash right. which is good some of the things get put in a different location because that's where they should have been in the first place and then nobody can find them. and nobody can, yeah yeah so it's a lot um it's almost like moving when you whenever you remodel anything but uh, it looks good. Everything is way, or I would say this is probably the most organized we've been since we, right. well, since the fires. Yes. But we put the work in. Y'all should have seen what, how, what she started off with. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't good. <laughs> but hey, you got nowhere to go but up I in those situations. So if I come up dead or murdered, <laughs> it'll be because Bruce and I started, I told him I would help him if he'd make me this ribbon rack, right? And I was showing it to him and everything. And he didn't immediately say no. Hey, that's always a good sign. Yeah, yeah. You didn't and say no. He said, I don't think you have that much ribbon. And I said, I think you need to go to my art room because all my ribbon is just kind of junky. And every time you pull one of those dowels down, stupid, all the stuff falls off. And of if it. it's like the fifth one down, you have to yes, pull Yes, you have to pull all of that out. out. Yeah. And so uh, we're going to be doing a lot of door hangers this year. So we're going to put, you know, bows and stuff. And so ribbon is always... I think ribbon is good, but anyway. Kimberly said she's got a church market vendor event in March on good. the 28th. You know, you'll probably do good as long as you have good weather. I, th this is just the business, and like we didn't have hardly any business today. Actually, I was surprised at the business we did have because it was raining. Oh, the rain. But Man, the, rain, the rain is not our friends. But, you know, I didn't want it to rain. This isn't for spring yet. It, yeah. I didn't want it to rain on one hand, but on one hand I did because we have new grass over there, which really needed some rain to kind of, we've been watering it, but there's really, and we have a sprinkler, but that's not the same thing as good mm -hmm. rainfall. Mm -hmm. Not the same thing. So I was kind of hoping we'd get rain and we Julia. did. We didn't get a ton, but we got quite, quite it a bit. It just stayed wet. Yeah, it just stayed wet. You see little doggy paws all over my yeah. house. <laughs> so just look at what I'm doing. You just glide the roller right over the top. Hello again. Just glide it. And that way you're not really touching the sides and your sides stay the same color on everything, which is a really dark, dark black color or dark brown or whatever you want to call it. And um, I've sold quite a few of the uh, baseballs. I haven't sold softballs yet, which kind of surprises me, but what do I know? Um, Kim said she can't wait to come see us and that yeah. she loves the remodeling going on at the shop. It was, I could see that was a lot of work. I wasn't up there, but I could was, see that was a lot of work. Hey, Sherry. Well, Bruce and I have had a lot of remodeling projects over the years together. Yes, y'all has. Uh, we built a house together. We have built a barn together. We have remodeled a house that burned down. The house that we have here has been totally remodeled. Uh, and any number of projects. Y'all really good at it. Y'all work yeah. good together. But it can be stressful sometimes. <laughs> and um, Anything was... said during remodeling does not count. <laughs> Not the truth because it's just like oh my stars me and mary's father used yeah. to say some some uh humdingers yes <laughs> so this is not quite dry but y'all know me i'm not gonna really wait on it to dry me i'm gonna start kind of placing it what i, I did on food. this is i um base coated this white two times mm -hmm. uh okay. so to me you're gonna have to put white on here two times and they were both generous coats and then at the beginning of the video, y'all saw I just took and did some shading around the edge. That's all I did. They like the egg. I know. I haven't even gotten started on that. I've got 
a Hello Spring that I like as a door hanger, y'all. Mm -hmm. This is a really cute one. I've gotten ready for it. Oh, Hello yeah. Spring. And oh, of, look Look at the water bucket. That's going to be so cute. And a number of other projects that I haven't gotten down, but you know. Hi, Angela. Sometimes he's faster cutting than I am <laughs> completing. <laughs> If that makes any sense. Oh, it does, unfortunately. Okay, do I want to go this way? Or do I go, okay. Well, I think I go this way, y'all. Miss Debbie, what have you been doing today in this rainy weather? Besides being fabulous. Being fabulous. I think I'm going to do that. Now, there's no uh, etching on Rhyme here. reason. So, I have got to do a little bit of playing. Hey, Ashley Amy Fields. Ash, Ash and I have been talking today. She's had a couple of challenges today. Oh, no. Yes, just some things that the, the shop weren't working quite right for her. They better recognize who they're dealing with, machine. She's had some back issues. Oh, uh, tickers, I'm so Poor sorry. Poor baby, she's got her daddy's back, uh -huh. which is not good, y'all. Kimberly said she cannot get people interested in the door hangers in Bay City. Yeah. What, do y'all have any tips for her? How can she get people interested in the door hangers? Which ones are you doing, the football ones? Or, I'm sorry, the baseball ones? Oh, Miss Debbie's watching football. You and Bruce, Miss yes, Debbie. Yes, yes, he the same loves thing. to watch football. You know, Kim, I think a lot of it is... Um, you, and I, I was thinking about the same thing the other day. I have had a tendency to take pictures right here or me holding it, and I really should be doing photos of it on a door. She that says she's help. tried it all. Oh, you've tried it all? Well, sometimes, honestly, sometimes it's you just, that's not your, your uh, market's not your market's not going to bear it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kelly had trouble selling um, wreaths down there because they just weren't, didn't seem to be interested. You just never know. Yeah, that's why you try to try this and try to try that. Y'all, I think my eye does Well, let's put this V up here. I don't know. Something don't see quite She's right. charging 65 Now, I know you can get that in Pearland. I don't know if you can get that in Bay City, quite honestly. I don't know. So, you know, I'm not there anymore. I don't know enough to say. Okay, so that is right. Okay. I would go to whoever your best clients are for yard art and talk to them and ask them. And just ask them why or maybe... They're just not going to put up a door hanger, no matter what Is they Is anybody do. in Bay City selling door hangers? And what are they selling? Are they selling something for like $19? Yeah. She said people want something for nothing. Amen, sister. Girl, you, did. you ain't never said Especially nothing. the ones you know. Ask the most. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I am just doing some spacing. And you can see this is really easy to paint. And you spend a little bit of time... Just working on your spacing. So if they decide to buy one of the round blanks, are these gonna have etching on them? They are not. Okay. You're gonna sit here. One thing about the etching is it forces you to put it in a certain place and it takes me a lot longer. And maybe so then you I don't want it in more. that place yeah. where we etched it. Right. Maybe you want yours somewhere else. And then I have to charge more if I do that. And then you can kind of work with this. Um, you can do, you can put it up here like this. Hold on. She said that they're selling stuff very cheap and they are not made well. That's yes, well, why you're having trouble yeah, with Yeah, and you get what you pay for. Because um, I know Kim posts on her Facebook a lot. Or, or that's what she uses as, you know, yeah. as her marketing, which is perfectly, the, I do the same thing. Um, I think, too, Kim. Is anybody else having the same problem with any of their products? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it is. There have been a lot of times I can't sell door hangers. The reason I think I'm selling them yeah, now. Yeah, Mary said she couldn't. The reason I think they're selling now is I've got a good place at the store for them. And uh, I do a lot of lives, right? I wonder if doing a live would help her. You know, Kim, I, I don't know. Kim, do you ever do lives? Just uh, say yes or no. Because I can tell you without doing lives, I don't. You wouldn't. Sell. I just don't think I would sell much. And and it's because Facebook will push a live a lot more than they will push a post. Yep. That's just the way it is. And then it seems like when people see things um, in the on, creation on video, mm -hmm. especially in in when you're creating it, and then you're showing them the finished look, mm -hmm. it it gives them so many more angles. Now I think the first video I did on this, this thing was etched. And we stopped etching it, but for two reasons, because it forces you to put it in that place. And I really wasn't crazy about the placing of it. 
and it takes longer on the machine, so I'd have to charge more. Yeah. The first one, I noticed my seams, the word seams was way up closer up here, but mm -hmm. I like this one better. I do too, I gotta say. Because I got a little more space here, but that first one I had a lot of blank space down here, and I didn't care for that. So I'm gonna just gonna move this just a little bit. Let's see, A. There we go. Living life at the, the seams. Yeah. Now, you definitely can glue this. Y'all know what I'm going to do, just because that's what I do. Debbie, what you would have to do is do it with um, MDO. And instead of it being a board hanger, just put a, a green stick on it. Debbie's asking how we could turn this into the yard art. Well, Debbie, I am going to be making... Uh, some regular baseball out of MDO blanks for for spring. Hi, Mary Kay Green. You can't do this one because this one's MDF, so it's not going to work. But what I was going to say is um, I'm going to be cutting some so softball baseball blanks where the stitching is just kind of normal on a normal baseball, where this is a little bit crazy. And um, there's an easy way to paint that, and I'll be showing you how to paint it. And I then like you, if you want to do wording on that, you're going to have to either vinyl it or stencil it. That's the only way I can think of doing it. But also remember, this is January. Even we are slow in January. So yeah. you're, you're oh, probably going to be slow in January. I can tell y'all right now. Um, you run out every time. No, I'm not, I didn't. This stupid thing is being ridiculous. Uh, we were very slow today, and we have been slow. In, but I don't take that. I don't take it to heart because. Because I know like that's the way January is. Right. It's just people recovering from Christmas bills. All the good Christmas well, bills. Well, and a lot out. of it is just that um, it's not good weather. People don't want to be outside. Nope. Not with the kind of crazy weather we have. I honestly say all the time we could probably shut down the whole month of January and it'd be fine. It really would be fine. We don't because we have work to do. And you'll sell a little bit of stuff just because people come by that we're open. Hey, but while you're working anyway, you might as well open yeah. the but People get upset if we're closed, but then don't show up when yes, we open back. Yeah, that goes. <laughs> so and, um, did y'all know, in case y'all didn't know, I want y'all to know that Bruce and I are some of the most interesting people on the planet. <laughs> people are nosy. They have called and called and called and, and the called. city showed up too. And everybody's showing up, seeing what, what are y'all doing. What are y'all doing? The city just wanted to try to get their money. So. Yeah. Hey, Bridget. The city can just go, you know, where and have a happy day. Anyway, <laughs> and I have gotten lots of phone calls. What are y'all doing? What's going on? And I told Bruce, I said, "Are we that interesting?" Yep. He's like, "I guess so. I guess so." And um. One, that lady asked me, were we shutting it down? I said, ma'am, no. if we were shutting it down, I wouldn't be spending all this money doing this hard work. We would have shut down during COVID. If we yeah, were you know what I'm down. saying? Y'all know Mary. And then, She's uh, going to power through whatever happens. And uh, one of them called and said, are y'all trying to bury bodies over there? <laughs> well, never thought about that, but we could. You got some volunteers. <laughs> you know. Uh, several city inspectors showed up and had trying to Trying to see free. if they can get money. Saying for what are y'all doing? Blah 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 blah. And oh. it's funny to me because you guys are working so hard, and people want to come by and stop and talk, and they don't get. Yeah, we're trying to work, right? It's especially bad during the summer. Yeah, and so um, it's so hot. People are like, I told Bruce, I was like, in case you didn't know, and I'm just sitting here playing, y'all. That's all I'm doing. In case you didn't know, we are very interesting people. When I used to work at the store, they would always call, where's Mary? She's at home. Well, yeah. What's she doing? Yeah. Uh, working. And um, I was telling them about all the phone calls I fielded on my personal phone and on the business phone. What are we doing? <laughs> and uh, Hi, Holly. I said, well, we're trying to have better drainage. We're trying to be able to have our yard to sell yard art. We fought that yard for 30 years. We probably should have done this project a long time ago. But if you, you know name it, goes. she's trying it. Yeah. So, um. Kim said you're lucky you didn't dig up no bodies. <laughs> That's probably true, <laughs> Kim. That's probably true. But yeah, I, I was really surprised at how many people were just like calling, calling, calling. What are y'all doing? I wanted to say digging up bodies, but of course I didn't. 
Because then the city really would be coming up after me. Right. So one city inspector showed up and said, the boss of the big boss called and said for me to get over here and see what y'all are doing. <laughs> I don't know why they sent him. I don't know why they sent him because the big boss ended up coming over anyway. He didn't leave him. I guess, it, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully no big boss's wives are on this line. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, they were all very nice. Of course. They were very, very nice. And I'm not going to give anybody a hard time. They just time. wanted to know what you was doing. They just want to know. I, I said. They made money out of it. Yeah. I said, we're not building anything. We're tearing things down. And you got to have a permit here for everything. Yes. And um, I told him I, we had uh, dug up a three foot beam, about 12 feet long of concrete. We had dug up a seven foot by 10 foot root ball and it was all laying there in the driveway. And I said, pointed to us, I said, you see all that? That's what came out of the ground. Joanne had a really good idea. She said they probably follow you on Facebook and saw the pictures. That might be true. I don't I think so even... because here's the deal. We sit right on the main drag in Pearland. And he said, um, the um, the big, big boss had been driving by. We're on the main drag, so we don't we don't try to get away with anything because we don't we can't get away with nothing. So we don't even bother trying. No. Mm -mm. So the big boss came. <clears throat> Why he sent the other guy? I don't Under know. Underlings. Yeah, <laughs> but the big boss came to see what we were doing, and y'all, this is how you know you're getting old. Bruce looked at him and he said, "How old are you?" Because straight up, the dude looked 12. Straight up. <laughs> I said, Bruce. He's like, <laughs> he looks 12. And uh, Bruce said, uh, I've never seen you around here because we know some of the people at the city because we've been there so long. And the guy's like, well, I've only been here eight months. And he said, but I was in Bel Air for 10 years. And the guy was nice. He was nice. But he was very young. And Bruce is like, so you don't really know us, do you? And he goes, no, not really. <laughs> and Bruce is like, well, we've been here a long time. We sell yard art. And we have to have a yard to sell yard art. And we need drainage, it's not draining. And Bruce is like, we're not building anything, we're not erecting anything, we're not constructing anything. It's total takedown. And so he showed him the beams and the 10 by, seven by 10 foot root ball, if you can believe that. And he said, can you believe all this came, Bruce told him, can you believe all this came out of the ground? And the guy's like, no way. Yeah. I'm surprised they don't charge you to tear down, honest to God. Oh, they did, we had to go get a $25 permit. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. But you know, that's just life. Y'all, we grew up in the country. You could do what you want to. You when you want to. Right. In the backyard, you could burn your trash. We, it, this was kind you of You could burn experience. your neighbor if they made you mad. <laughs> but, so, you know, that's just that's just part of it. That's just the way it is. Um, so, Bruce Tommy was like, well, when we get going, you got to come back and buy some yard art from us. And the guy's like, I'm coming back. So, Bring so, your wife. Miss you Debbie know. has an opinion of the uh, city. Guess what it is? Um, I'm sure it's warm and glowing Lovely. and beautiful. Yes. Yes. I'm with you, Debbie. <laughs> well, like I said, the guy was nice. You know, they they, they, didn't, they didn't come out. And Bruce is the nicest person on the planet. So he's not going to he's not gonna intentionally try to, you know, and be so a you-know-what. Bruce, Bruce would never do that. He's so easy going. He's and, too um, easy going. So by the time the guy left... He's supposed to come back by order. So hopefully he will. Mm, let's make sure we got all that. Yeah, we do. Okay. Who wouldn't want to buy our yard? Yeah, exactly. But I was sure hoping we'd get some good weather today. But the rain was okay. What's the matter? Guess who's making comments? <laughs> <laughs> they need that $25 for the $10 billion budget debacle. Yes. I thought they needed it for the water debacle, did they? Yeah, well, that's I mean, that's part of the debacle at our at the city. That's that's for sure. Yeah, I think it'd probably be too much for us to go into, but they really have the a city lot of has had lots of issues going, in, going on in Paris. Firing hey, everybody you, and their million dollar oh, shortfall. Oh, the city fall? Oh, yeah. Fire the, mm -hmm. what the well, they kind of needed to. Well, what? Let, girl. they had a million or a million and a half deficit in their budget. They overestimated. They made an error. The water department has been screwed up for three years and they lost millions of dollars somehow. And nobody seems to know how or why or when. But we love the city. You guys are wonderful people. We, we, <laughs> we don't want to get any more visits. You well, are doing a no great trouble. job. Y'all are doing a wonderful job. Keep up the good work. <laughs> okay. That's old news. <laughs> she said, we're past that. That's old news. 
<laughs> that's holdness. Oh, okay. Look here, I've been trying to get a job since the, the end of Halloween. The same, I've been trying to get the same job, and they've been putting me through hoops. I finally got it. So oh I really wasn't aware of what's going on. I've always been busy, but um. So if things go good, I'm gonna have a really nice six foot tall uh, ribbon caddy or cart. And he's so good at building stuff. If things don't go good. Uh, <clears throat> He might put me six foot under. Miss Debbie said that was old news. Now we're talking about the appraisal debacle. Which oh, appraisal yes. debacle? I really haven't heard of this. Well, anything that can be messed up, they have. Just... It's just not good. And they try to say you've got all this, um, your value, your property is worth all of this. And, and I always contest my taxes, but they went up tremendously. I thought they did that last time, too. Tremendously. I, I was on Facebook at the time, and boy, talk of Pearland sure Hold had on, some I opinions. That up. Hey, Kim, I got on at uh, Teachers Retirement of Texas in Austin. It's online. It, it don't If you plan on applying there, don't plan on hearing anything Thanks for, for like about years. I don't know. Well, it, my interview process started on Halloween, and I just went for um orientation and to pick up my equipment for home on tuesday I, that's actually why mary wasn't here on tuesday me and her went to yeah, austin. We went to austin and uh but yeah it's a wonderful place to work y'all i gotta say they are the nicest 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 people you've ever met in your life and, and i'm not just saying, saying that. that yeah they are really good people i went in and visited with some of them and they were nice they were super super nice mm -hmm. and they're still hiring y'all so go to TRS.com. Just don't plan on getting a job anytime soon. Yeah, just make It'll sure you, you, have, you have three months to wait. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, look here, I'm about to starve to death, y'all. Y'all either need to make a decision or not. Thank you so much, Miss Debbie. I'm trying to tie these knots. I think y'all seen me do this before, but I'll show you what I'm doing. I put this through here, and I just take this, and I'm just trying to tie that knot. I cut this uh, ribbon 24 inches, and I get the knot back to the very end of mm -hmm. it, something like that. Pull this out, and I'm just going to knot this. But this is such a cute one. Scenes. One of the Academy members asked me to cut some baseball blanks for outdoor, you know, mm -hmm. and I actually think that was a good idea. And I told this her would, I would be so cute to have it a game, like to have their names yeah. going across. That would be so cute. How heavy is this piece? That is a good question. It is we heavier than know. you think. I'm going to say about eight pounds. That's what I think. It's about maybe six to eight pounds. All right. So let's put the thing on here. Let's see. I do have this already. I made this earlier. So what I did, and y'all probably saw this earlier, I have my, um, I did an earlier video on it. I cut this 24 inches and folded it. I cut these nine inches and just cut them. And I tied them with a zip tie back here. And underneath that zip tie is another zip tie. I'm the zip tie queen. You don't really need a zip tie this big, but that's all I had, so that's what I used. I'm just gonna use what I got. And I'm gonna put this zip tie through this hole Right here. What a great idea. Right? Now I'll, I'll turn this over so you can see. So I got my zip tie through the hole. I do this. Sometimes you kind of have to yank on it. Yeah, there we go. I got to go to lunch with you and Miss Debbie next time. And yeah. Miss Victoria next time you'll go. Miss Debbie, you're cracking me up. I don't know what the appraisal debacle is, but Lord, you got me thinking. Well, a lot of people were unhappy about that. I was one of them. I don't think it mattered. Bruce said, I, you should go down there and tell them who you are. I so, don't care. I oh. said, honey, that. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> 10 cents, you know, get you a cup of coffee. He's like, oh, 10 I'm cents. Sorry. We didn't know you were married. Right, we're yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're right. going to devalue you, but. Oh, you're married? Okay, let's make the price go up. <laughs> that's what they would do. I'm promising you that's what they would do on my account. Okay, let's make the price go up. Will the piece cube with holes? I'm not sure. Will the piece she's... what? It'll come with holes, yeah. Oh, come with holes. I think I that's, that's what, what she's trying to say. Yeah. And see, the little bow, just there's not much to it, but it does give it a little three-dimensional look. I'm gonna put this and if they come to the paint party that's on the 28th, yes. they're going to get a rope. 
Is that right? No, nope. on the pink party, you get bows and ribbons. Bows and ribbons. Okay. Bows. Now, the only time you get a rope is if you buy the blank and paint it at home yourself. And we can ship it, y'all. No, well, and this is exactly why I told Bruce I need my ribbon cart made. Exactly. He claims I don't need it. I claim I do. And you need one for here and one for here. Let's not push you. You're already <laughs> trying to get me murdered. <laughs> hey, y'all, we did the... Uh, Oh, shuck a dorm. I don't think that's enough roll in. Oh, it's Man, that's so pretty. I love is. the glittery look. Y'all, she also has baseball ribbon. That yeah. is the cute. Well, I don't know if you have any left. I don't have any left on that. did have some. Yeah. That's so cute. I'm going to use this one. Right. I just have to go with this one. Um, so if you come to the party, you get. Uh, we'll cut the ribbon and all that, whatever you want. Uh, I may have to order some more stuff. What do they mean they didn't check it? Miss Debbie said Houston appraisal gave Pearland appraisal the wrong numbers. Yes. And, and we didn't check Pearland it. didn't check it. So Pearland took their word for it and Houston calculated it wrong. But who's left holding the bag? Pearland. Woo! That's I would have oh, sure. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I would have loved to have been at that city council Can you meeting imagine? when they realized that. Mm -hmm. Oh, child. You know that they were mad. Unfortunately, that. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. Keep all that stuff, so. Yeah. Ooh, Miss Debbie keeps us all up on the good stuff. Miss Lana, we're having some fun uh, making some. Y'all come to the fun. come to the paint party Saturday afternoon at two. And you can make your own. It's really easy. Okay. So now that I'm. I think I got everything where it won't fall off. I'm gonna tie this, and this one. There's some polka dot by the bunny. Uh, yes, but it's not black. You you can't tell this. It's a little bit brown. It's brown. Yeah. But yes, there, that is right. And I'm gonna double knot this. And Missy, where do you, Mary? Where do you get your um, ribbons from? Just here and there. I, I, and the answer is anywhere you can. But I get a lot of mine from Craft Outlet. I think it's Craft Outlet Mall or Craft Outlet. And the reason I get from them, their price is pretty good. And they, you can go in there and you can type, you know, the color you want and the size and their search engine is good. Miss Debbie said, wouldn't it have been a big clue if your budget jumped yes. like 25%? Well, yes. why was Houston doing anything for us well, anyway? They, don't we I, who knows why they were calculating, but they were. But Ooh, I don't trust nobody but my own calculations. Connie, you I don't know how I am about my thoughts. I'll go right before this. Me and Mary. She don't even know how to calculate herself, so y'all. <laughs> me and Mary. Don't even listen to her. Well, I was trying to calculate my salary before, right before we had our live, and she was like, now what number are you starting out with? When I sent her my figures, because like in two seconds, she was like, uh. That ain't right. You, you shouldn't, you shouldn't math. There's a lot of things you're good at. Math, mm -hmm. nah, not so much. Yeah. My number was way off. <laughs> well, Debbie, you, if somebody would have given you something that you, that you thought, wait, what? You would have double checked it. You would have said, wait, what? Well, anybody that you know, doesn't have some, anybody that's not spending somebody else's money, they would have checked and checked and checked because we don't have a whole lot of money, okay, right. to, to be spending. Well, Debbie worked in accounting for years, and so she knows how that goes when you're dealing oh, with money. Oh, Pearland is part of Houston, so you, I got okay. you, I got you. Yeah, so when you're dealing with money, it's it's very important to check and double check, kind of like when Bruce and I were doing our uh, remodeling over there, I asked him, could he make these shelves? He said, yes, if you do all the grunt work. So... He showed me how to use the saws, and so it was my job to use the saws. And he's like, measure twice, cut, cut once. once. You know what I mean? Yep. It's kind of how that needs to go. Hey, that looks amazing. It looks good, y'all. Hold uh, on a second. I'll put them up here. Side we're going to have a party uh, with Saturday. these boogers the 28th, on Saturday the 28th. Yeah, they're, and I'm going to put these up for sale at the store. I had some up there, but they sold. And the bows look cute, and there's not a they whole do. lot to them. But they're, you don't want a real big bow on this. Because the, that'll lose the point of it. Now, I have, you can also paint these yellow for softball. Yeah, you can. And on the party, we actually have a choice of three different animals. Uh, cats welcome, people tolerated. I don't have any here. They're all at the store. If y'all were here during those lives, those are adorable. They are adorable. And then we have one that's just a dog paw that says welcome. And then we have one that has a dog and a cat silhouette and it says welcome and it's real cute. So there's three different animal door hangers you can choose from or softball or baseball. But thanks for hanging out and come see us on Saturday the 28th at two or you can buy the blank and paint it at home because I've done a couple of lives on them so you should know. They're easy to paint, they're fun. Wouldn't take any time. It doesn't take any time at all. 
For the future, if I come up missing, it'll be because my <laughs> husband knocked me in the head because we didn't get along when we were building the ribbon It cart. doesn't count. Rebuild, anything I said during rebuilding or remodeling, <laughs> it does not count. It's actually, you get to say anything without penalty that you want to. <laughs> Seth Con Con the single girl. So uh, what'll happen is he'll be he'll be starting to make it, and I'll be going. Why are you doing that? And he just don't say anything. <laughs> if you could, I know, but that's not gonna happen. So I'll say, don't you think we should do it this way? And he gives me the look. Well, if they wouldn't make no mistakes, we wouldn't have to say nothing. Exactly. And he's like, who's building this? I'm like, well, you are. He's like, get over to the saw and just cut when I tell you to cut. <laughs> Cut when I tell you to cut. Cut when I tell nothing. you to cut. No talking. <laughs> we'll see y'all later. Y'all have a good Saturday night. Bye, Miss Debbie. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.